This is the Green Hornet. I want to talk. I got no talking to do. What will we do? Let's get him to the hospital. Somewhere aboard, there's two million dollars worth of narcotics. And he's the only one that knows exactly where. Another challenge for the Green Hornet. His aide, Cato, and their rolling arsenal, the Black Beauty. On police records, a wanted criminal, the Green Hornet is really Britt Reed, owner-publisher of the Daily Sentinel. His dual identity, known only to his secretary and to the district attorney. And now, to protect the rights and lives of decent citizens, rides the Green Hornet. Enough. But Dr. Thomas. May I speak to the resident doctor, please? I'm the resident. I have a man here that needs some help. You know, I thought you were invented by someone. For kicks. You are the Green Hornet. But not for kicks, Doctor. How did it happen? He fell. Will he live? I don't know. It looks like a concussion. Miss Christie, have Nurse Grace and meet me in emergency. And then call the police. His name is Gus Wander. I'm sure the police will want to know that. The police. Fortune riding on a deal, and you're watching Batman. That uh, must be Wonder. Well, find out, stupid. Wonder? No, it's Wolf. Let me in. Where's Wonder? I'm asking you. He was supposed to be here a half an hour ago. Has he called her anything? No, he hasn't called her anything. We interrupt this program to bring you a special bulletin. Only moments ago, the Green Hornet delivered a badly injured man to the Claiborne Hospital. He was identified as Gus Wander, a transient. Wander remains in a deep coma and under police guard. The Hornet was not, repeat, not apprehended. Further bulletins as the news develops. <laughs> I want Wander. Kato. Fred. I heard the police bulletins in the car. Where'd you ever find Wander? The last I heard, he was out of the country. The Sentinel's Far East Bureau set me onto him. They got a tip that two million in narcotics was leaving Hong Kong, destination USA. And Wander was in on it? Up to his ears. He sailed as an ordinary seaman aboard the freighter Sally Bell. Why didn't you tell me? I would have had him picked up because the Sally Bell didn't make it. She was caught in a typhoon, abandoned by all hands. She was picked up for salvage. That's where she is now. 
Well, then the narcotics must still be aboard. Exactly. But there are a thousand hiding places. Wander's the only one that knows where. If he lives. I'll do what I can in that direction. Here's the hospital number. Thank you. Hello. Uh, this is the district attorney. Let me speak with the officer guarding Gus Wander, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Officer Carmichael. Will you find out if Gus Wander can be moved? I'll have to ask Dr. Thomas. I'll ring her. Dr. Thomas doesn't answer, sir. I'll go back and check with her. Get up behind her, lady. Something's going on. I don't know what. If you harm the girl, I won't go with you. Now, look. I mean that. And if the man is to live, you need me. Maybe you're right. I'd leave her alone. Well, let's get these two out of here. Operator. Operator, this is an emergency. Give me the police. Sergeant, this is the district attorney. I want you to send some units over to the Claiborne Hospital in a hurry. Yeah. There's been an assault and a kidnapping. Right. I better get right over there. Why, Frank? To pick up the pieces? What do we do? Well, the first thing we have to do is figure out why somebody would want wander enough to pull a stunt like this. Two million in narcotics, that's a lot of money. Who would have an operation big enough to handle a shipment of that size? Bert Selden. Of course. It has to be Selden. I'm gonna get right on him. Wait a minute, Frank. He has the doctor. She'd be the first one hurt. Yeah. We play our cards right. Let Selden get the narcotics. Then we can catch him with his hands full and dirty. <laughs> He's in a coma. Then bring him out of it. I want him to talk. Now, doctor. Check it. Who is it? The Green Hornet. I've got a proposition for Sheldon. I tell him to come on up. Come on up. Way to greet a future business associate. What are you, some kind of magician? It's a lot more practical than that, Selden. There's a freight elevator that comes to this floor, too. The door was locked, but it wasn't as well covered as this one. Shall we get on to business? I've got no business with you. Not yet, but you will have. Two million in narcotics. Well, you've got the wrong party, Mr. Hornet. Oh. Then I guess it's just a paternal interest you have in Gus Wander. How is he, Doctor? Not good. Then that leaves it entirely up to me. Meaning? 
Wander's the only one that knows exactly where the shipment is. I know the approximate location. That's a lot more than you do. But if you're not interested. Okay. You're calling the shots. How do we move? We'll get Wander close to the stuff. See if the doctor can bring him around. It'll save a lot of time. You can follow me. Right. <laughs> I don't understand you, Bert. Why can't you let the Green Hornet cut the action? There's no action to cut yet. If there is, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll hedge the bet. Me to 555-7767. What are you doing? Well, this looks like it. I'm hedging on my bet like I said I would. Honey boy? I've got a job for you, honey boy. <laughs> Sally Bell. Everything's gonna be all right. Two men in masks following me. Gus, I wanted to send one of the boys with you, but <laughs> you didn't trust me. Gus! All right, bring him out of it, Doc. him under for hours painlessly and maybe giving him a chance to live he doesn't deserve what do we do wait maybe he'll come around again Carlo take her out on the deck she bugs me shipment is. So we don't have much time to get you and it off the ship. Behind the firewall in the engine room. But how do we tell where, Gus? We can't take you down there with us. Half a dozen insects painted over. 
Are you through with him, Selden? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I got all I need. Then we'll take care of him and the doctor. We'll meet you in the engine room. All right. Let's go. According to plan, we have five minutes to get out of here after I signal Scanlon. Doctor, you either come with us willingly or you will be carried. Keep on working on those screws. Two minutes. One man. I've got him spotted. So do I. He's over by those crates. Uh, now it's coming. Yeah, there it is. It's here, all right. The honey boy's making sure it's all ours, too. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. All right, he's out. gotten away, you know. I know. I would have offered you a ride home, but I suppose you'd feel safer with the police. Not necessarily. It's a matter of principle. Either we as a newspaper have it, or we don't. That's my position. Oh, has somebody suggested we take a stand against motherhood? Listen to this. This is an item bought and paid for to go into our personal column. Man in green mask. Urgent you have immediate physical examination. Respond. Brit, that's an item directed to the Green Hornet. There's no telling what message it conveys. You're right, Mike. Turn it down. We can't be a party to that. Mike. On that narcotics thing, wasn't there a doctor involved? Hmm. Dr. Hannah Thomas insists she doesn't know anything that happened at any time. Courageous lady. Kidnapped threat to her life. Mike, we're going to have the Sentinel give her a testimonial dinner. Governor, Mayor, Plaque, I'll uh, <laughs> say a few words. The selfless dedication of people like Dr. Thomas. Maybe a private little supper afterwards at your club. Hey, that's a great idea. Yeah, I suspected you'd like that. Mike, follow up on that. I'm going to advertise it. Get mm. away. Don't count on it, Mike. She may get another chance. Mm. 